What's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. America the Beautiful. Well, today I'm going to do a commentary that's very dear to my heart. It's about parenting of children and the uh, uh, raising of children and children uh, being raised or, uh, you know, the other side of it, uh, the children's side as well. And uh, it's kind of dear to my heart. I have three children of my own. I love them all dearly, uh, even though sometimes I think they don't believe me, but I do. I love them all very much, and they're all unique in their own way and different, and that I like a lot. Well, uh, if you're a parent and you're raising your child, uh, there's always a lot of people out there that uh, want to criticize the way you raise them and uh, some of those people are your children themselves and it's kind of hurtful uh, but sometimes it's also insightful if you listen and uh, so I want to speak to that a little bit and uh, but first I'll tell you a little bit about my, my own uh, personal experience um, I, uh, I never wanted to have any children and uh, when my children found that out, that was uh, hurtful to them, and I, I didn't ever mean that to be that way. Uh, but when I did have my children, uh, I loved them all very much. And uh, it just sort of changes your life whenever you have a child. And uh, yeah, hell, they're trouble sometimes, and boy, they're, but they're funny sometimes, and they're delightful a lot of times. And I can tell you stories about every one of my children that'll make you laugh, and I can tell you stories that'll make you cry. And I don't think I am any different than most parents in the world today. I did the best I could raising them, and I'm sure that all the rest of you parents out there do the best you can raise them. I don't believe that there's a parent on the face of this earth that deliberately goes out and does anything to hurt their child. But we do. We say things sometimes that hurt them, and we do some times that hurt them, and sometimes we do things that we intentionally think are going to be good, but that's hurtful as well. There is no book on raising children, and there is no book on being a child, by the way, on the flip side of it, you see. A child can't go to school and learn how to be a child. They have to just grow up just like you and I did. And so your parents don't get it all right, but they don't get it all wrong either. If you look for the good, you'll see it. I used to think that my parents was uh, not so good either until I got much older and I realized the things that they taught me uh, that mattered instead of looking at what I didn't, what I thought they should have done or give me or this, that, or the other, uh, they did pretty good. So, on the child side of it, you know a child is a child, but when, and, and, uh, when they grow up, they become an adult, and they sometimes look back on their childhood and they blame their parents for the situation that they are in. But the parent didn't love them enough, they didn't take enough time with them, they didn't send them to school or something like that and they blame their parents for their current situation instead of just doing what everybody needs to do and that is just get on with it and make your life the best you can and uh, so uh, you know some children uh, have it really really good in life and other children have it not so good and other children have it really really bad well if you look at to put them all in a big pile out there and just study what to do after they grow up you'll see they all get through it one way or the other and even some of those people who raised up children are raised in the worst atmosphere in the world make it just fine and do very very good well why is that whenever they were abused and beat by their daddy or mama or something other like that or their mom and daddy was a drug addict or this that and the other and they become successful well my answer to that is the reason is because they picked up their ass off the ground and decided to change their life and we all can do that and uh, and it was their personality to begin with another thing that 
that's kind of on my mind that bothers me is that people want you to be, in essence, go to, a parent wants a child to be this, and a child wants the parent to be this or that or the other. And uh, you can't, uh, as my ex-wife used to say, you can't drive a round peg in a square hole or a square hole around or what it's, you know, you can't do that. You know, a person got, you got to build on their personality, take their, uh, enjoy their good traits and build on them. And the same thing with parents. Parents can't be something you want them to be. They can only be their self. Now, if they try to be what you want them to be, they could end up being pretty unhappy. And it's the other way around, too. With a child, you can't tell a child you've got to be a doctor or a lawyer or this, that, or the other. you got to just try to build on their strengths and let them be who they're going to be. And uh, so, for you young parents, maybe this will be a little bit helpful. I don't know. But... Uh, I'm just telling you that, and for you parents that are up into my age and everything, I'm going to tell you that this is uh, something. You can't carry the guilt around for the rest of your life for what you did or did not do, uh, and, or what you did right or did wrong. You just go on and try to do the best you can from the, this day forward, and uh, if that can't be accepted, then that you, you've done all you can do. And... Uh, and, and, and children, please don't expect so much from your parents, uh, especially whenever you're grown yourself. Take a look around at your children that you've got, if you've got them, and I know you've got them, some of you got them, some of you don't, and how much you love them, and this, that, and the other. I'm sure you've got some children that don't do everything you want either. And, uh, and if you really take a look at your life, you may not be the perfect parent either. There is no such thing as a perfect parent. I defy anybody in the world to find me the perfect parent or the perfect child. There is no such thing. So let's stop all this bickering and backering back and forth and love each other for who we are and who you are. And do the best you can and just Love it through it and uh, stop trying to be so judgmental. And I'm talking to me and I'm talking to everybody. So anyways, that's my take on parenting and being a child. And I hope uh, maybe it helps somebody. It uh, kind of made me feel a little bit better, but not really as good as I want to feel. But um, anyhow, God bless. Jim Bob's out.